internet, I'm Hazel and it is almost Saturday so it's time to sit down for a vlog. This week it is time walking weekend event that started I want to say yesterday and we have cataclysm time walking so you can now go and time walk your way through. Uh, hang on, what dungeons actually are there? We've got End Time, Grim Batol, City of Tulvir, the Stone Core, Vortex Pinnacle, or Throne of Tide. So you can have wonderful flashback nostalgia to all of those and get yourself some Time Warp badges. Uh, the Time Warp badges, um, obviously you can get heirloom tokens, you can get mounts. I think most people are saving them up for mounts at this point unless you already have your mounts. And then there's toys that are like specific to each individual time walking thing. Like you get different toys for Cataclysm time walking or you can purchase different toys for your badges during Cata time walking versus BC or Wrath. Uh, the ones for Cata time walking, there is the Tossel Wrench's Mega Accurate Simulation Viewfinder, which is a mouthful and a half, uh, which apparently replicates Deathwing raining down fire from the sky like he did in Cataclysm. And uh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> or you could get Gerboggle's Gleaming Bobble, which is kind of like that seashell toy that puts you naked in a seashell, except I believe it turns you into a Gilblin. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But anyways, uh, two new toys. Not that they're brand new to this this event, but I don't have any of it yet because I barely do time walking, so I'm just kind of reminding myself, you know. I should do it this I should do it this time. I always try and do at least one time walking dungeon whenever time walking rolls around because that gets you that item that you can turn in for quite a few seals. So if you want time warp badges, but you really, really, really hate time walking or you just don't have time for it, if you can do one time walking dungeon each event, that's the most time efficient way to gather them. So that's what I've been trying to do. I should do five of them on my priest, or no, my mage, to get the, um, you get 500 valor points, you also get a normal Hellfire Citadel raid cash. And even though her item level, she's 714 now, she doesn't need a whole lot of gear at a normal HFC, she could use a good trinket. I wouldn't say no to a Prophecy of Fear at this point, so I should do that at some point, maybe over the weekend. Uh, so yeah, time walking's going on. What else? Our raid, uh, raid's been same old, same old. We've been having trouble getting everybody to show up. Not surprisingly, considering how long we've been in Hellfire Citadel. I think we're actually kind of close to calling a hiatus. Um, and just kind of like putting down the raid weekend, or the raid nights until Legion comes out. Or at least until the Legion pre-patch comes out. And if you had suggested that idea to me like... A year ago or whenever whenever ago that we were like happily in the middle of raiding High Mellow Blackrock Foundry that idea would have scared me a lot because I have this idea ingrained in my head that if your raid takes a break and you stop raiding for months because you're waiting for new content to come out that not everybody's going to come back and we have such a magical tight-knit friendly guild and I have such a fun time raiding with them that it would be really upsetting to me if it kind of fell apart and it didn't come back in the same capacity so I'm a little afraid of that but I'm also kind of ready for a break from HFC at this point. We've been in, like Hellfire Citadel came out in June. So give or take, we're like 28 weeks in. That is a long, long time. And the worst part is we're gonna be like another 28 weeks more. It's 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 gonna be such a long time in that raid. And once you've kind of done it, you know, how many how many heroic Archimon kills do I have? Let me let me check. Let me let me look this up. This information is readily available on the internet. I have killed Heroic Archimon 17 times. I have killed him 17 times on my Priest, which is probably the total amount of times I've killed him, because I don't think I've killed him on anything else. So that, I feel like, is good. I feel like I have experienced the Heroic Archimon fight. I have my Head of the Curve achievement. And I'd be kind of okay with putting down PvE until, until we get more content. Like, there's a certain point at which you've kind of done it. And it doesn't mean that you want to quit WoW, but there's lots of other things to do in WoW other than going to the same raid over and over again and getting loot that you're just disenchanting for enchants that nobody needs. It's just, it's kind of depressing after a while, so I would be okay with our raid taking a hiatus. Hopefully we come back in full capacity once, um, once we get some new content to do. But nothing's been, nothing's been announced just yet. As far, as long as they're holding raids, I'll show up to them, because that's the kind of raider I am. As long as they're happening, I'll be there, but I might not be happy about it. <laughs> Uh, to kind of fill in the extra time, I have gotten back to trying in a little harder at PvP. I took a couple weeks off, not really intentionally. I never like sat down to myself and, and said, I'm going to not do Arena for like a month because I'm burnt out. But that's kind of what ended up happening. Um, I was just getting kind of stressed and overwhelmed and I got into making, I spent a lot more time making the Legion Alpha videos. And at the end of the day, after working on something like that, I was just kind of mentally drained and I didn't really have it in me to go jump into Arena Pugs and have people tell me that I'm shit. Uh, so I stepped back from it for a little while, but now I'm all excited about it again. Uh, it kind of, kind of comes and goes in waves, but I'm trying to ride this one out and get some more practice in. Uh, it's exhausting, even, even like two or three days back into, back into queuing, it is exhausting, but it's also really rewarding and I really want to be better at it. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep at that, I'm gonna keep streaming it, I'm gonna keep doing my best. 
and uh, hopefully I get better one day. I want to try the classes and other like healing classes and I want to try DPS class, but I think I'm still going to stick to keeping that until Legion because they're all changing so drastically. It doesn't make a lot of sense to put a whole bunch of time into learning a brand new class or spec when they're just going to rewrite everything from the ground up anyways in Legion. So I'm going to try multi-class more later. Uh, the one thing about doing more PvP though is it's kind of this weird time suck. Like if I'm hanging out and I've got some free time and I'm not actively doing something, I will probably log on and queue some arena, which means that I don't end up doing other things that would otherwise suck up that time. Mostly Blade and Soul. I was actually really excited about Blade and Soul. I was having a great time with it and I haven't stopped playing for any reason and also it's free to play so it's not like I can unsub. But I haven't, I don't think I really played Blade and Soul at all. I don't think I've even logged in since I started doing arena again because, you know, if there's a moment I'm not really doing anything, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go queue some, queue some something. And get some practice in as opposed to leveling in an MMO that I don't know if I'm going to stick with. But uh, my husband's been enjoying Blade and Soul quite a bit. He's been playing around with the Force Master. And he's, uh, he's been having a lot of fun. So I'm going to try and play some of it this weekend or maybe next weekend. And get caught up so I can play with him a little bit. Other things that I'm doing this weekend and maybe next weekend. We've been catching up on... They, well, we've. I have been catching up on old Star Wars movies. I've never actually... Previous to this week, I never actually really sat down and watched... The old Star Wars movies, like front to back. Um, I've seen little bits of them. I know the things about Star Wars that are widely known in pop culture, but I've never been a huge sci-fi fan, so I never really felt the need to go back and watch movies that were very much before my time. Um, but I've been catching up on them now because there's this new Star Wars movie out. And I know I'm a little late on that on that train, but there's a new Star Wars movie out, and we're gonna we want to go. We've decided that we do want to go see it, and I think it's late enough that the hype's died down that we won't get like trampled at the theater. So in order to actually go see that, I've been catching up. I'm gonna. We, we, I've seen. Four and five, and then half of two. I think what we're doing is we're watching four, five, and then one, uh, no, four, five, and then two, three, and then six. This order is befuddling to me because there's this whole prequel thing going on, but I've been assured that it's the best way to do it. Uh, I'm, we're skipping out of one because I've heard that's not a very good movie and it doesn't add anything to the story. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're all right. They're all right. The old ones in particular, like the original ones, um, I'm having a hard time with just because I feel like with the original Star Wars movies, when you strip away how culturally monumentous it was to have such a big production sci-fi film and to have films made in trilogies rather than just an individual one-shot film, and you strip away how amazing it was at the time and what it meant to everybody in their childhoods, and you take away all that nostalgia, there's not a whole lot left. Like, if it just standing alone, it's not a great movie. It's not an awful movie. Uh, I can see some of the merit to it, but I have no vested interest in the franchise, and I'm watching this movie, and I'm like, all right, all right, that's a weird Yeti. I don't understand what this has to do with anything, but yeah, yeah, he's, he's gross. That's cool. Um, like, the opening scenes of the fifth movie, I think, had a random-ass Yeti that had nothing to do with anything. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he comes back in episode six. Maybe he's pissed. <laughs> he's hungry and he's pissed. He just comes back and he's like, gimme. But I uh, haven't watched that far yet. So I'm trying to catch up and we're going to try and see the new one this weekend. I have a lot of Star Wars movies to watch in a very short period of time to catch up on the rest of those in order to go see the, another, ne the new one like tomorrow. So I might be marathoning Star Wars movies tonight. Mm. Uh, what else have I been doing this week? I've been still drawing. Uh, I don't like to give up. I may give up one day, but I don't want to give up yet. I really want to try and make it through a year of drawing at least every day. In the last couple days, like I said, PvP has been kind of sucking my time away from other things. So I haven't spent as much time on my drawings in the last couple days, but I have made a point of doing them. So this is what I've done since the last time we chatted. Uh, where did they go? I had them all pulled up. Mm okay. So this first one uh, is a face. It's another portrait. I still don't like it, but I don't hate it. Um, I was working on this and it kept looking kind of strange. And after a while of fighting with it and trying to make it look not strange, I just kind of embraced the strange looking and like made some changes to accentuate the strange looking and decided it's a style. Um, and it's just, it, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be anything, but I feel like if I made a whole bunch of people that look like this and I made a comic out of it, it would be a thing. It wouldn't be a great thing, but it would be a thing. So that's the face. Uh, this next one is a gift. I was all overwhelmed from having tried and failed at the face thing the other day, so or, or the day before. So I was like, I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to color it. So I drew a present, and uh, it's a present. This next one is a Haworthia attenuata. Uh, it's actually based on a real plant that I have here. Hang on. It is, it is based on this little guy who's getting green screened right out. But uh, I can promise it is green. It matches the plant, plant little picture. Uh, so that was January the 24th. And then the following day, I did another animal. I did this shark. 
so this is a shark. I like him quite a bit. I was surprised by how well he turned out, given that I didn't really... Like, sometimes I try things and they just look awful, and sometimes I try things and I'm like, yeah, that's what that looks like. And there's no real logic as to what, what happens when. Uh, but I got kind of lucky and the shark turned out looking pretty good. The following day, I had very little time and I wanted to... Oh, hey, Beth. Hey, dog. What's up? Did you just see that or did imagine that? Where you go? I just saw him walk behind me, but now he's, like, gone. Joker! Anyways, the following day I had very little time and I wanted to, like, paint something instead of drawing something. So, uh, this is a tiny bunny face behind some grass with some tulips. Uh, I definitely get a very different result when I sit down and work on a drawing as opposed to trying to paint something, but I still have fun. This next one is a little sprout, uh, climbing up for some sunshine. I don't really know what kind of sprout it is, but, you know, he's working on it. He's gonna grow up and be big and tall one day, and then this last one, from last night, is a snail shell. I wanted to do a seashell, and then I started on it, and I was like, this is kind of a snail shell, so I decided it was a snail shell. And I had a lot of fun. So that's what I drew this week. Hopefully I, uh, hopefully I keep finding time. Maybe find a little more time on the weekend, although I've kind of designated this weekend as a time to catch up on a whole bunch of stuff I haven't had time on during the week, and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for all of it. <laughs> I gotta watch, like, a buttload of Star Wars movies. I really want to make flan. I got the ingredients to make flan. I've never had flan before, nor have I ever made it. But I picked up the ingredients to make it like two weeks ago, and I've been trying to find time to make it. And I was like, I'll just, I'll just do it this weekend. So I want to do that. I want to get a bunch of arena cues in. I want to do all of the time walking. I need to clean. I need to catch up on laundry. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh my gosh, I have so much that I want to do. I mean, it's two old days all fitted in somehow. So that has been that. Uh, questions. Grafsb807 asks, have you ever considered doing machinima or other voice work? I am pretty sure I've heard you do something on YouTube on another channel, so you probably have. I have done one thing on YouTube on another channel that was voice work, and that was I voiced Pamela in one of Haruma Red X's uh, quest videos. He did a video of his favorite quests or something to that effect, and one of them was the Pamela Redpath quest chain in Western Plaguelands? And I did the voices for her. So that's what I did. I had a lot of fun with that. I would love to do more work like that in the future. But the thing is, I would probably have to make... at some Like, not everybody is really clamoring for voice acting talent that isn't a talent. Like, I'm not a voice actor. I just said some things in a voice. I don't know, I don't know what the difference is, but there's got to be something. People go to school for that, right? Uh, so not a lot of people are like clamoring to get me in on their projects. So I'd probably have to make my own projects, which does sound like fun. I would love to make some machinima style videos at some point, but those things are a huge, huge, huge time sink. And it's a project that I don't even want to think about touching until I've caught up on a whole bunch of other things. I have this really bad habit of getting very excited about new things that I want to do and want to try and I start them. And then I realize I've already started like 14 other projects of similar magnitude and there's no way I can see any of them, like all of them through to completion at once. So I'm trying to pace myself and trying to not start things until I finish some things because I really like finishing things. Finishing things is great. Then you get to see it when it's done. So that has been my week. I hope you guys have had an excellent week yourselves. If you have any questions you would like answered on an almost Saturday vlog, just leave them as a comment on the most recent vlog. If you leave them as comments on older vlogs, I don't always get to those. They're, they, they get, when I'm looking for questions, I go, I specifically go to the comment section of the, of the most recent one. I don't look through older ones, so make sure it's the most recent one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!